Welcome back, everyone, to the Sparky Lyle Show. With Sparky Lyle, I'm Paul Spahala. We're talking about the great Yankee championships of 1977 and now 1978. And when 1978 comes up, it goes back to the one-game playoff, Fenway Park, and, of course, the Bucky Dent home run. What were your memories of oh, the Bucky my, Dent home run? Where were you when, 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 when you took that swing? Well, it, I just want to preface one thing. When, before we acquired Bucky Dent, and he was with the White Sox. We had uh, a kangaroo court. Anybody that gave up a home run to Bucky Dent cost him ten dollars. Now that was a lot of a money. A lot of money because Bucky only hit three a year. <laughs> and but the thing is, then we got him. And believe it or not, if he hit three home runs a year, and I don't, I haven't seen the statistics or anything else, but I would bet you that 80 percent of those home runs were game-winning home runs. That's what he did. And we're sitting out in the bullpen and, and when Torres threw him that slider down in, he fouled off his uh, ankle. If you would have ever seen what his leg looked like, it was as purple as your shirt from his knee down from hitting balls off his ankle all year. And when he went down, we're just going, oh my God. And the other reason, if I remember correctly, we had already pinch hit our other shortstop or pinch ran him or something during that game, and that's why Bucky had to stay in that game to go back up there and hit. Now, the guys told me when he went in the uh, dugout and Monahan's putting the ethyl, uh, yeah, the, whatever the, it is, the freeze, freeze on it, yeah. He's freezing his ankle. And Bucky's saying, I know he's coming in there again. If he comes in there again, I'm taking him into the wall, into the net. Goes back up. He just didn't get it down enough, and he hit the, oh. We, we, we went nuts. We went nuts, especially against Boston, you know. But uh, I tell you, that was, th th these are things that I guess that's why you play the game, right. you know. You just, you can't match that up against anything. But what, what is almost forgotten in the heroics of Bucky Dent is that the Yankees were 14 games oh, back yeah. of the Red Sox yeah. late in the season. 14 and, and a half as a matter of and, fact. And, and no guarantee that you were even going to get to a one game play. Well, Lou, Lou Pinello signed, signed, uh, he, he summed that all up at All-Star break. He says, hey, and if you could ever hear Lou talk, listen, they played the best they could play. We didn't. Now, it's up to us. We got to play the best that we can play, and let's see where they end up. And that's all we did. Now, who would ever have thought we could make up 14 and a half games from All Star break? I mean, that's a chore just doing it from All Star break. But man, we got on a roll, and it was just Katie bar the door, get out of our way. And these teams were just, and we had a lot of fun doing it too. I want to tell you. Now, many people would say after the great comeback, after the great win in the playoff game, that there was fear of a letdown in the World Series, even though it is the World Series, <laughs> but was there any worry going against the Dodgers for the second year in a row? No, and getting back to Pinella again, we come out of there down two games. We lost two. Lou gets up in the airplane, hey, how many games did the Dodgers win last year? Two. Okay, they got their two in. Let's get our four and get out of here. That's exactly how we felt. Okay, bingo. It, it, it wasn't over. That team never even thought about losing. Not to, you know, when I say that, I don't mean that we felt we were so damn good that we couldn't lose. It wasn't that, but that was the farthest thing from our mind. We had business to take care of. Wonderful being in that situation. We're on the Lou Pinella show, apparently. Has, <laughs> but some great memories of 1977 and 1978 <laughs> with Sparky Lyle. We thank you for watching the Sparky Lyle show. We'll be back with more all season long. Somerville Aluminum sets the standard for best in class. For over three generations, we've seen products changing, process is changing, what hasn't changed about us is who we are. From our home to yours, we invite you to explore our new state-of-the-art showroom and visualize your dream. 
we want you to touch and experience the latest products so you can make the best choices. From kitchens and baths to windows, doors and siding, we have it all. Be home assured with Somerville Aluminum.